Hey guys, and welcome back to Mary J's Haul. So I know it's been such a long time since I've made one of these videos. And guys, the reason why is because I think I slipped into a little bit of a depressed state because things were not fully going my way. Now, talking about the FMT stuff, the FMTs definitely helped and set me further along my progress with my chronic idiopathic urticaria. And for a while, it solved my gastro issues. Now, Part of the reason why I don't think I've followed up so much is because my health has also taken a turn, some for the worse, some for the better, um, and I am actually excited to tell you guys I am working with a new integrative health doctor, and if you guys are suffering from chronic illness and cannot find help through traditional doctors, I absolutely recommend integrative health. So far, I've been to like 40 doctors for all my issues, and all of them point fingers and tell me, go to the other one, go to the other one. Well, this one actually does the test that you ask for, they get the results back, and they get them from all different angles. So they're not just testing one thing, like you, let's say you go to the gastro because your gut is upset. Like, you don't have to go to a gastro, a gyno, an endocrinologist, and an autoimmune doctor. Like, you can all do it all through there, and they also work with a lot of holistic healing. And since then, my hives have been pretty non-existent since I've been working with them. Now, I've only had one appointment, and she gave me a couple of natural supplements like PEA and, um, oh yeah, yeah, I'm forgetting the other ones, chromalin, sodium, which is not so natural, but it's your body makes it, and then glutathione, which your body naturally makes and it helps it detox. So some of the findings that came back from some of the test results was that I have small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. So guys, one thing to note with the FMTs is that if you are doing them at home, you will not see very much success if you do have SIBO. And maybe that was part of the issue with me. Like my hives got infinitely better when I stopped the probiotic. Then they got again halved in terms of severity after I finished the FMTs. Now I do think if I had continued the FMTs a little bit longer, I would have seen success. But then again, I also have other issues too. So finding this integrative health doctor has really kind of helped me to figure out every different thing that's wrong with me and see if we can tackle them all together or if there's even interrelated. Um, but that is one big thing with FMTs. If you are doing a DIY FMT through an enema, you will not see very much success with SIBO particularly because with the enema, you will only be reaching the small, the large intestine and the small intestine is before that. So a lot of the time for people with SIBO that do want to do FMT stuff, it has to either be through a colonoscopy, which is through doctors, but doctors will not approve it for anything other than C. diff. I know that it, the regulations are starting to ease up, but still to this day, they're being really finicky. And again, guys, guess why? Hmm. I wonder if it's to keep people sick. Again, same reason why integrative health isn't covered by insurance. Weird, right? Because they can prescribe medications. They do exactly what your doctors do, except in a full circle so you can see everything and then go from there. So maybe it's because they're too good at healing that they're not covered by insurance. I don't know. You know, you know they make money by keeping people sick. And I'm sorry for those of you who truly believe in the medical system throughout my progress process of trying to become healed from my chronic illnesses, I have absolutely lost complete faith in the traditional medical system. Like, I don't know why, like I even told my integrative health doctor the other day, she was like, you've got this, you've got this, you've got this, you've got this, and this is what we're going to do. I would have had to go to six different doctors, and most of the time they guess what I have and give me a medication. I'm done with the guessing. I want answers, and that is what I've gotten from my integrative health doctor. They are pro-FMT, and I think a lot of these integrative health places are pro-FMT. They will not do them for you, um, but they do not frown upon it, and they might even give you some tips and tricks on how to help. But I just wanted to touch base with you guys and let you know that I am doing better still. Um, I've got ups and downs. Now, the biggest issue that has arisen for me is the liver damage. And the liver damage, I do not want to scare you guys. It is not from my DIY FMT. It is from taking the steroids, right? It's amazing because now I've got extreme liver damage and I'm working on solving that. 
but I also have adrenal fatigue, which is another thing that happens after taking steroids for a long time. So if there's a way for you guys to avoid steroids, absolutely do it. And I say, if you guys are newly on steroids, go to an integrative health doctor as soon as possible. You do not want to get stuck on these nasty, super toxic drugs. I mean, they taste like poison, but they actually are poison. So adrenal fatigue means that prednisone provides cortisol, which is produced by your adrenal gland. So as you're providing your adrenal gland with prednisone, your adrenal gland says, hey, I don't need to make this anymore. Now, cortisol is necessary for the stress, anything stressful, whether it's emotional stress, whether it's fight or flight, anything like that, even exercise, which exercise can promote cortisol, but at the same time, it uses up your cortisol. So now I'm going through adrenal fatigue. So even though I don't feel like I need the prednisone anymore, I've been trying to get off of it and I can't. And part of that is because guess how they solve adrenal fatigue? It's with prednisone. So the prednisone causes adrenal fatigue. And the only way to solve adrenal fatigue is to keep taking the steroid, which is perpetuating the liver damage. So if there's one thing I can tell you guys, and I mean it, do not take steroids. Find an integrative health doctor. They have been absolutely amazing for me. Or go ahead and try the DIY FMT. I know my hives are a bacterial overgrowth. I, unfortunately, I did not know they were in my small intestine, but I thought they were in the large intestine. So I did see help from the FMT, so do not get discouraged, just like I did. I did get discouraged after a while because I wasn't fully healed, you know? So do not get discouraged. Keep on doing it. If you are doing the FMTs, good luck. Reach out to me. Let me know. And thank you guys so much for watching.